Hello everyone, this is Paige with the Missouri River Bird Observatory, and in this video we're going to talk about the funky ways birds behave to attract potential mates. A display of behavior is a fixed set of actions that carries a specific message. Although many display behaviors are used to attract mates, some display behaviors have other purposes, like appearing larger to intimidate rivals or defend a territory. The ultimate purpose of courtship behavior is to attract a receptive mate, but there are several other purposes behind the courtship behavior of different bird species. The intricate moves of a mating dance and the charming songs used to woo partners can help distinguish species so that birds are sure to choose genetically compatible mates. Different courtship behaviors also reduce territorial aggression, letting two birds relax together to form a pair bond. Competition is a big factor as to why birds use courtship or mating displays. Competition is a symbiotic relationship between or among living things that compete for limited resources, such as food, space, shelter, ecological status, or in this case, mates. Depending on the behavior, how birds react in courtship can also display strength, health, intelligence, and mating desirability. This allows different birds to choose the best partners and ensure viable, healthy offspring. I'm going to talk about the different types of courtship behavior, but first, let's address some common misconceptions. Misconception number one, all bird species are monogamous. Most songbirds in North America will somewhat secretly mate with multiple birds. DNA paternity testing shows that in many species, 40% of the young are the result of what we call extra pair copulations or mating outside the pair bond. Common misconception number two, birds pair for life. Splitting up is a regular part of life for almost all birds. Most live with one partner for only a few months or years, depending on the species. However, there are a few species that will pair for life, like species of albatross. Common misconception number three. All bird species mate during the same month of the year. We typically think of spring as the mating season for birds. However, this period falls over several months with some birds, like owls, starting as early as January, where others don't start until the late summer months, like the American goldfinch. There are several different courtship rituals birds use for finding a mate. Most species will use one method overwhelmingly, but may actually have several methods they use to lesser degrees. The exact type of courtship can vary greatly between different species, and even birds of the same species may have slightly different courtship variations in different regions. Singing is one of the most common ways birds attract mates. The song's intricacy or the variety of different songs one bird can produce help advertise its maturity and intelligence, which are highly desirable characteristics for a healthy mate. Singing can also define the boundaries of one bird's territory, warning off weaker competition. For some species, only one gender, usually males, will sing, while the other species may create a duet as part of their bonding witch rule. Flamboyant plumage colors and elaborate displays of prominent feathers, skin sacs, or body shape can show off how strong and healthy a bird is, advertising its suitability as a mate. Peafowls are one of the best known species for their stunning display with the male's extensive colorful fan. Other birds may use subtle changes in posture to show off their plumage to the best effect, such as raising a crest, hunching their shoulders, or flaring their wings. Physical movements, from daring dives to intricate sequences including wing flaps, head dips, bill rubbing, or different steps can be a part of a courtship ritual. In many species, the male alone will dance for his female while she observes his actions, while in other species, both partners interact with one another. Mistakes in the dance show inexperience, weakness, or hesitancy, and would not likely lead to a successful mating. Close contact between male and female birds can be a part of the courtship rituals to help diffuse their normal spatial boundaries and aggression. The birds may lightly preen one another, sit with their bodies touching, or otherwise lean on one another to show that they are not intending to harm their partner. Offering food is another common part of courtship for many birds. 
A male bird may bring a morsel to the female, demonstrating that he is able not only to find food, but also that he can share it and provide for her while she incubates eggs or tends chicks. For some species, the male may bring food and leave it nearby for her to eat. In other species, he will place a seed or insect directly in her mouth, just as he might be expecting to do when helping feed hungry nestlings. Some birds attract a mate by showing off their architectural skills. Constructing nests before the female arrives is a way for males to claim territory and show the suitable nesting areas they can defend. They may also decorate the nest with pebbles, moss, flowers, or even litter to make it more eye-catching. The female may then choose the nest she prefers, or she may still build her own after mating with her chosen mate. If you are lucky enough to be able to witness these delicate and intricate courtship rituals, it is important that those rituals not be disturbed. Attracting mates is a demanding process, and any disruption could harm a pair bond and cause the birds to abandon their efforts. If mating is interrupted, the birds may ultimately choose less suitable partners or not mate at all. Humans should keep their distance and remain as unobtrusive as possible if they notice any signs of courtship behavior or pair bonding in the birds they see. Just observing and understanding bird courtship, however, can help us better appreciate the complexity of the avian relationships forming in our own backyard.